Good afternoon. Today is December 31st and it's just about 12.50 in the afternoon. I'm just going to be talking to you today about Sahib's zero lot and backyard hybrid aquaponic system. We had used this system in our training class on December 10th and 11th and have since added a couple of growing beds. The system has been running continuously now for almost three weeks. The adapted Afnan Bell Siphons are working just great and we've not had to make any adjustments. I'll show you the growth. I just checked the water chemistry and it looks like the well, pH is around 7 and hardly any presence of nitrite. And the nitrates are below 20 or just perfect. This is the, one of the extensions we put on. These are Sahib's sandwich towers as Dave Hart likes to call them. And we have now, they're doing pretty fine as you can see, growth is on both sides. And it's just one pump that's feeding all of this. The towers are being constantly fed. Here's the rafts. You can see the lettuces are starting to do just great. We're getting a fantastic variety of growth. As I said, this media bed here was incorporated with three-quarter inch gravel. Ah, you might be able to see a ladybug friend. I don't know. Let's see if we can find. I think you can see her right there. She's just on that leaf. Beautiful. Naturally occurring out here. We have spinach growing in here, we have cilantro, we have some dill, and yes, I have introduced a little bit of mint. We'll see if it does take over. Here's some cutting celery that's been planted in the Sahib Sandwich Towers. There's two towers, here's parsley. This one is parsley, that one over there is cilantro, and the furthest one is dill. This growth is starting, the nitrates have kind of established themselves. The system is basically starting to naturally cycle, so the nitrogen cycle has developed. The lettuces, we had started them off as seedlings, have done very well. We've introduced some of the other mixed variety of lettuces and cutting celery, cilantro in here as well just to see how they would do. In this bed we've added some hydroton. Now in the same system we have this put this bird netting across. I'll show you. We tie it down here. This is bird and squirrel netting. Why? Well, as I show you, we're basically in wasteland. As I'm walking away, you can see this is next to a fence. And it's part of the permaculture that I'm also introducing here, where they said nothing grows under oak trees. I said, okay, let's try. We're creating some soil naturally. And we've got some wicking beds. But here is that system as a standalone and we've added recirculating wicking beds as well which I'm going to walk towards and these recirculating wicking beds basically are, have two barrel two levels that when water gets sent in we have a valve 
that controls this is the valve here it's controlling the inflow we open it as I'm gonna do about now to show you the water coming in once the water reaches a certain height it exits out through a bottom drain pipe but we have placed the drain pipe at a height that will retain a certain level of water in this recirculating wicking bed we have put two of these together these chambers here I'm just pointing to allow the retention of some water so that the wicking can occur we've planted some tomatoes and some lettuces in here the idea here is that we can control the amount of water that goes in and basically some plants don't like to be waterlogged I intend experimenting with some of these plants and see how they will fare without constant water flow it's talking about permaculture and developing soil under oak trees I'm just amazed we planted some strawberries before naturally it looks like a strawberry starting up naturally on the ground incredible let's see what happens this zero lot backyard hybrid aquaponics system by Sahib Aquaponics can be adapted modified built by yourself or sold as a kit we intend putting some corrugated plastic corrugated sheeting on the top of this frame to collect the rainwater and recycle that as well and then next year the goal is to try and introduce a solar panel that will generate adequate electricity so we can be totally off grid next month I'm going to be expanding this showing you how to expand this by adding another new feature that we have been using in our research farm and again David nicknames these as oh these are side shallow culture well really they're shallow water culture as opposed to deep water culture that we have modified specifically to assist us in vertical in the urban vertical growing field which I'll share with you when I share phase two photographs right now you can definitely see the possibilities of such a system are endless this could easily be taken and used anywhere in the developing world countries and if we can get it off grid it's just a matter of scaling it we have a 55 gallon water tank that's holding our fish in there and obviously we can put a hundred gallon or expand and put multiple of those and you can grow fish accordingly either to eat or just I'm using goldfish they require less oxygen they provide me adequate waste waste for some but for me precious gold because that turns to be my fertilizer I would like to envisage this as a teaching tool as well as a practical tool to help people empower people to grow their food locally naturally without having to resort to adding harmful pesticides or chemical fertilizers grown locally grown naturally that's what we're trying to do here at Sahib Aquaponics in sustainable urban gardening please visit us at www.sahibaquaponics.com as well as look into attending some of our training workshops that are taught by urban aquaponics gurus we do give away our profits to help feed hunger now you can check that out as well signing off till next god bless